It's being described by its supporters as a win-win for the economy and national security. The U.S. Senate is advancing legislation that will spend more than $50 billion to incentivize the domestic production of semiconductors, the microchips that are in everything from microwaves to military equipment. It brings that manufacturing back home. It also invests in what a lot of experts call the innovation ecosystem necessary to sustain that kind of manufacturing and will be really important um, for bringing prices down as we increase the supply of semiconductors. Local businesses say shortening the supply chain for semiconductors would be a big plus. Companies like Minim uh, that are producing consumer electronics now really have a greater opportunity to manufacture in the United States and have more of the components of the goods that they're building uh, be closer to the customer. There are geopolitical considerations at play here too. Taiwan is currently the hub of world semiconductor production and it is facing a growing threat from China. In order for us to make sure that we are secure uh, and that China doesn't have undue leverage over us uh, or uh, Taiwan, it's really important uh, that we invest in this production capacity and produce these chips ourselves. Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.